In this video, I will be unboxing the biggest knife I've ever seen skeet shooting with a new shotgun and pushing my GoPro Hero 10 to its limits. Let's start off with the new shotgun. This is a Stoger M3000 tactical shotgun, and today we're going to be skeet shooting with it. Let's go. Just in case if you don't know what skeet shooting is, I'll show you real quick. Basically, there are these discs that you're trying to hit, and then somebody will say, Are you ready? And, Bye. then this machine flings a disc, and then I try to hit it. While I was editing, I noticed something. If I go frame by frame, watch the bullet, you'll see that the bullet lands perfectly inside the bin. Look at that. Next, we went to the pistol range to shoot an AR pistol and SIG P238. What's unique about this pistol range is there are steel targets that we're going to be shooting at. The reason why this is unique is every time you hit it, it makes a clang sound. Like that. I would like to introduce you to the biggest knife I've ever seen and my first attempt at an ASMR unboxing. This knife is huge. It's like 15 inches long. It's the biggest knife I've ever held in my hands. Remember in the beginning when I said I would be pushing my GoPro to the limits? Before we do that, I want to explain how I'm going to be pushing it to its limits. This is a camera, and when it takes a photo, it opens and closes its shutter. Well, a regular cinema camera takes 24 frames per second to record videos. That means it opens and closes its shutter 24 times per second. Let's say you want that juicy slow motion shot. You need a higher FPS, or AKA frames per second, to make those smooth, juicy shots. Well, GoPro claims that the GoPro Hero 10 can record to up to 240 frames per second. Well, we wanted to see if the GoPro Hero 10 could capture the bullet coming out of the chamber. Without further ado, here are the results. That's it for this video. Subscribe and make sure you watch this video next.